what is happening? This is Lionless, you're watching TechLine, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about Cat S62 Pro. This phone was released last year, but even in 2021, I think this is one of the most advanced rugged devices thanks to its extensive rugged properties and professional-grade thermal imaging camera. I think this is a very interesting device, but it's definitely a niche product. Let's see if this device is worth a price of about £540 in the UK and if it's the right phone for you. Cat S62 Pro is not your everyday smartphone and that is obvious from the moment you pick it up. It is big, it's heavy and it's built like a tank to survive the harshest conditions. Cat phones have always been famous for extreme rugged properties but S62 Pro takes it to another level. It is drop-proof up to 1.8 meters and the device is vibration, sand, salt, spray and pressure resistant. The phone has all sorts of official certifications including IP68, IP69 and mil-spec 810H. It feels that it can crush my Galaxy S21 Ultra which is a well-crafted device but it can't compare to the Cat S62 Pro in terms of ruggedness. An aluminum frame feels sturdy and we have this rubber material on the back with patterned surface on the bottom portion of the phone, which gives you extra grip, especially if you are wearing gloves. One thing that I don't like, the button placement. I think that the power key should be lower than the volume keys, but that's obviously the matter of getting used to. Speaking of buttons, there is a programmable key that can be assigned to open up push-to-talk mode or open a particular feature or any app of your choice by double-tapping or long-pressing it. The phone has a hybrid dual SIM and a micro SD card slot which is covered with this protective flap. On the bottom, we have USB Type-C port for charging and a decent-sounding loudspeaker with good volume output. Here is a quick audio test. The fingerprint scanner is pretty fast and accurate, but there is no face unlock feature for some reason. A 5.7-inch 1080p plus IPS LCD display is covered with Gorilla Glass 6 and it ships with a pre-installed screen film which adds an extra layer of protection. I found the panel to be plenty sharp and bright for everyday use and its outer visibility is pretty good. As expected, basic yet essential features like call quality, signal reception, Wi-Fi and GPS have been working fine. The phone also has NFC. Now let's talk about cameras and let me start talking about the phone's key selling point, a thermal imaging sensor made by FLIR. The phone uses a pro-grade Lepton 3.5 module for the best sensitivity and most accurate results. You may ask, what is thermal energy? Well, basically everything on Earth emits or reflects thermal energy and my FLIR Pro application puts this advanced imaging sensor to work to capture this energy instantly visualizing temperatures as different colors. This helps locate and diagnose the damp, the drought, the leak, the hotspot, the electrical short, the blockage, the elevated temperature, you name it. The possibilities are endless whether you're a professional or an amateur trying to fix stuff at home. Even though thermal imaging may sound complicated to some, my FLIR Pro application is simple and intuitive yet packed with a lot of features. I found this app to be pretty easy to understand and use in practice. The default mode gives you a conventional blurry image but MSX mode allows you to see more detail and clarity. An advanced alpha blending mode gives you a clearer perspective of the image or you can simply use a regular camera to check the image. What is even more important, you can adjust the intensity of each mode and choose from different color modes. The default is iron, but I love the hottest mode which, as the name implies, shows the hottest surface. What is more, you can add multiple crosshairs that show real-time temperature, draw squares, circles or divide the screen into two parts if you want to see average, minimum or maximum temperatures and so on. You can also take the picture or shoot a video or even live stream to YouTube. After you take the picture, you can preview the scene by simply swiping up and down. Further, you can edit the image right on the phone as temperatures and other information have been saved. As you can see, possibilities are endless here and I just barely scratched the surface. I get that thermal imaging and all of these extra features provided by this app were not designed for the mainstream audience, but if you are a pro, a handyman or just a curious geek, this camera is a really powerful tool to have in your bag. 
Now let's talk about conventional 12 megapixels camera on the back and an 8 megapixels shooter on the front. The overall image quality is pretty good, especially given the fact that all of the shots were taken on dark and cloudy winter days that have poor lighting conditions. Don't expect flagship grade quality, but most of the shots have a good amount of detail and sharpness. For your rugged device, this is really good image quality considering the fact that the camera is not this phone's key selling point. I found selfies taken in auto and portrait modes to look pretty good too. Portraits using the main camera look surprisingly nice, especially given the fact that software has to do all the job blurring out the background and detecting the edges. The camera does not have a dedicated night mode and that results in mediocre looking images even though some of the shots came out nice. If you can find a bit of street lighting, you can take decent looking selfies or selfie portraits. You can shoot videos up to 4K resolution and the quality is pretty good but the footage is quite shaky so I suggest you use a gimbal. The same can be said about 1080p selfie video. The quality is decent but the video is a little bit shaky. So this is handheld video, no civilization tools whatsoever. And I'm standing here in the forest. When it comes to specs, the phone ships with a Snapdragon 660 processor, a generous amount of RAM and local storage that can be further expanded via the micro SD card slot. This hardware configuration combined with nearly stock Android 10 assures good day-to-day -day performance. The phone feels smooth and fast and simply gets the job done when it comes to the basic tasks. A few extra features include the ability to turn on or off glove mode or expand phone's functionality by downloading new apps from the dedicated Cats Toolbox App Store. This device was not designed for gamers, but you can still enjoy playing some of the 3D titles like Asphalt Extreme or Call of Duty with no issues. However, if you want to play more demanding games like PUBG, you'll have to deal with some skipped frames or stutter even on medium graphics settings. Battery life has been pretty good. On average, you should be able to get about 7 or 8 hours of screen on time. If you use the phone mainly for YouTube and social media at around 50% of screen brightness, you'll be able to get almost 14 hours of SOT. The phone takes just over 2 hours to fully charge. However, the phone does not have wireless charging, which I found unfortunate because the device is waterproof and you can't charge it when it is wet. Cat S62 Pro is a very good rugged phone, but it is definitely a niche product. This device is right for you if you need a phone that can take a beating and you need the most advanced thermal imaging sensor which unleashes pretty much endless possibilities. If you are a pro or a handyman, it will help you locate and diagnose issues that need to be fixed. I found this phone to have a decent regular camera for daylight shots and the overall performance of the device is pretty good. A few flaws include a bit awkward button placement, there is no dedicated night mode in the camera app, there is no face unlock feature which would make a lot of sense if you're wearing gloves and finally, Snapdragon 660 is powerful enough for the basic tasks and some gaming but it is not designed to handle the latest 3D titles. At the end of the day, Cat S62 Pro is still one of the best options in its category. It may not be cheap, but the phone's extensive rugged properties and advanced thermal imaging capabilities may be worth it for anyone who works in harsh conditions or need to detect thermal energy changes that indicate what needs to be fixed. What do you think about Cat S62 Pro? Would you buy this phone or would you go with another option? Tell me in the comment section down below what you think. Also like the video if you liked it. Also let me know if you have any questions. And as always, it was Linus. Thank you for watching and see you soon.